Hey guys, welcome to Brick Boy, the show review Lego sets. And today we got a Ninjago set. It's not really a set, but it's a something called the Ninjago Battle Case. And this is actually really cool. I'm just gonna open it up and show you uh, what it looks like on the inside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, that was actually my uh, secret weapons case. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was gonna take that out of plane, but I guess I forgot and left it here. I'll just take this out. You didn't see anything! Okay, let's start this review over. <sighs> hey guys, welcome to Rubik's Boy, the show where we do the layer set. Today we got uh, some thing called the Ninja Go Battle Case. It has no lethal weapons inside it whatsoever. At all. And I actually really like this thing. It's really cool. It's not that cheap. It's around $20. I got it on Amazon. About $17 with like, what, $6 shipping or something? I don't know. It's pretty hard to find, but if you can, it's definitely recommended. I, uh, I'd say about $25 is pretty good for this. Um, $30 if you're really desperate for it. But I say wait for around $25, but definitely get it. Um, especially if it's like $20 or something. But I say $30 is about the maximum you want to pay for this thing because it's really fantastic. And it's also pretty large. Like, this is my hand. Like, that's about the size. So, yeah. Um, the song for today is from uh, Mega Man 3, Shadow Man Theme, blah blah blah. blah. So, yeah. Let's uh, look at the thing. In the front's got some really nice artwork of the four ninjas with Kai's head right in the center. It actually makes it seem like there's five ninjas since there's two different Kai's. But something I find odd is that Zane is the only one that uses his golden weapon. The other four, or the other three, use their standard weapons. And really, there's not really been any nunchucks, except I think that Sensei Wu special edition thingy, maybe. But it's just kind of odd that he's the only one that uses uh, uh, his golden weapon. But it does look really nice. Back, it's the same thing. Uh, on the side, Lego Ninja Go. The bottom, Lego Ninja Go. Side. On the top, it shows the four dragons the lightning dragon, the ice dragon, the fire dragon, and the earth dragon. Looks pretty nice. It's got the. Sorry, it's got the handle. But you, you open this, basically you take this part off, it's some Velcro. And that's that. And then you can fold this down. And then there is your case. And as you can see here, it actually has a battle arena here with the uh, lightning strike card. It has these little uh, things around the edges to keep the things fall off. But from my experience, they have fall like they've went it went outside the borders a couple times. So yeah, that's kind of a faulty design. But it's actually two arenas, which is really cool. As you can see here, you can fold this down and turn it into another one. Which is a uh, wall of fire, as you can see. And there's nothing really um can um separate in the two walls, like if I take this off. Um, there's nothing really separating them, but you can use the center uh, carrying case to do that. As a seat, like that. Uh, the, back, the back inside it shows the four characters what they look like on their cards: Zane, Kai, Jay, and Cole, and like a Jigga. See, I really like that. It has two different arenas. That's really cool. How it has that. But I'm gonna take off the arenas and just show you the, uh, the carrying case part. So, on the inside, it actually has like the flame pit on the outside. It looks really weird. It doesn't look very interesting or very cool. It's got the four characters there. It looks kind of weird with the white outlines. As you can see here, it has like a lot of like five different uh, pouches, four small ones and then a large one. I usually keep some minifigures in here and then the the bricks and the spinners in these. So you can fit about four characters 
You can fit about four or five minifigures in this, and then you obviously can fit four spinners in these. They're perfect size for the spinners, and the blocks get kind of cramped in there, but... Yeah, this is definitely good for holding that. And then down here, we have little uh, straps to hold the weapons. You can fit about 12 or so weapons in there, which is good, because this is basically... You can hold about four characters in this thing. Yeah. And my least favorite part of that thing is this drawer down here. You pull that out, and you can put your cards in there. And, like, on the box, it shows it like that with... Uh, or not the box, but the little tab thing. It shows it with the cards like that. But if I let go, it just kind of pops out. It doesn't really stay like that. So it's kind of false advertising. I hate when they do that. This has a little flap with Velcro on the side, so it can, like, snap on there. Kind of weird. See, that's true. You can put about, uh, when it's, in, when it's, like, closed inside. This thing can hold about three rows of cards. But unless they're perfectly even, they're gonna slide around a lot. So, yeah. This is, like, I'll show you what it likes when it has some, uh, su stuff in it. Just a second. I probably should have done this earlier. I don't know why I didn't. How are you guys doing? Sorry about that. So yeah, I can hold a lot of minifigures in there, and there's all the bricks in the spinner. As you can see, this is how the weapons go in. Hold them in like that. The main characters I keep in here are J, Cole, Frack Jaw, and Chop Off. So yeah, that's basically the set. Uh, my thoughts? I really, really like this thing. It's really good for holding your minifigures and, uh, Everything you want to use for your Ninja Go battles and such. It's just really great for holding everything. It can hold about four characters, and and if you have two gun two matches or one on one matches, I mean, you can basically have two matches going on at the same time, and all of it being able to store in the case, except for maybe all the card individual card decks. Those might slide around a lot. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when, uh, I'll show you how it spins on the arena. It doesn't come with any minifigures, by the way, it's just, uh, it's just a case. Ugh. Let's aim this down. Let's show this off! It spins pretty well, it's just that, uh, they kind of fall off, e or they kind of can go over the borders easily if you're reckless with the spinning. Like, I'll show you in a second after he's done spinning. Like, uh, it's kind of like the- there's this part on the back, and then on top of that is like this cloth thing, which is well of fire. And that cloth cart part can kind of bump upwards, and because of that, it's easier to get over the borders. So the only thing I don't like about it. The arena isn't the best, but everything else is holding it's perfect. Um, the weapons don't slide around, the characters kind of slide around, um, the spinners and such don't slide around at all. Uh, the cards are- the, really my biggest problem is the drawers. The drawers- are the, or the, the drawer, the single drawer, isn't very good. It doesn't hold the cards very well, and the front box does kind of lie. But it's still a really nice set. I really like this. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. I definitely recommend you get it. If you could find it at like a Toys R Us for like uh, $20, that'd be awesome. Um, but $25 is definitely reasonable to pay for this. Um, and $30 if you're getting desperate and you really want it urgently, then that's great. And if you uh, like, if you have a lot of friends that like the game, they have a bunch of cards. 
but you want to bring your own cards, then you could, this, this is great for that. I mean, I used to just uh, put them inside the 3D battle arena. Like, I just put the, the, all the, my characters inside the 3D battle arena, but that didn't really work very well. But this, I keep this, and it's perfect. I, like, I still like to use the 3D battle arena instead of this arena, because that one, it's pretty darn cool. And this one isn't very good. But, definitely if you're holding like some kind of Ninjigo tournament, and if you have the 3D Battle Arena, the Starter Set Arena, and this, you can hold four matches at the same time, which is pretty cool. So you definitely go check this out, and I'll, got, I'll see you guys next time, this next Wednesday, for the review of the next uh, Atlantis book model. Later.